Well, hello, my fellow caramelers. How are you doing today? As of right now, I just got to let you know, it is Monday the 22nd. It's really early in the morning, about 7 a.m. my time. This is a significant day for me. Monday the 22nd of August, 2023. This is an important day, and this is why I'm wanting to get get you all here and giving you this update on the channel and the resin casting business, Lucasy e Products, let you know what's going on. And, and a really cool thing is that coming up here in two months, in October, is my sixth anniversary of doing this YouTube stuff. What a ball. It has been quite the ride and the greatest thing about doing this youtube thing was meeting all of you whether it's been at shows meeting you online just creating such great model car guy friendships out there and um and and, I, and i've gotten to meet some new friends even here locally that have exploded into great experiences for me and it's, it's really cool and you know, the YouTube thing is such a blast, given such, you know, such great opportunities. And, you know, there was a year that I was, I was working a lot. I was, I was a, a manager of a pizza place and uh, wow, I worked, I was working a lot. So I didn't put very many videos out. It's probably like my third year. And when I got more heavy into doing the YouTube you guys were all there still. You, you you stayed in. The channel just kept on growing. It's kind of plateaued. I'm not one of the biggest YouTubers in the model car area. That's fine, man. Um, I like what I do, how I do it. I know, um, you know, the old thing, I'm not a build channel. Those are a heck of a lot more successful than what I do, but it's not what I want to do. I like what I do. I like doing the info stuff. And uh, as a matter of fact, one of my favorite, favorite, um, uh, shows that I do and I actually want to put a little more into it is the Unpodcast. It doesn't get a lot of views which is really kind of bums me out. Um, there's more to model car YouTubing and information out there than and I'm not knocking these guys. They're great, great YouTubers and they do great videos. Watching somebody just build a model all you see is their hands and their work mat there's so much more to this hobby, and I think you're missing out. If you haven't watched the Um Podcast, you really should. And I'm going to be up in that thing. I mean, I bring on as all these people that were so significant in the hobby from way in the past, right now, people that have the businesses in the hobby, regular just car model builders, other YouTubers, big, small, it doesn't matter. It's all about the model car hobby and that's what we talk about and we bring information to you. And that that's really, really what I really love doing is just sitting and talking with, with people in the in the in the model car hobby community industry. And that's that is it's really neat and with that show i'm hoping here soon i do have it on spotify and a couple other um podcast type things like spotify but it's very limited because it costs money to keep your whole library on there and i hope one day to actually be more on like spotify and it uh it's just it, you, you should check it out you should really check those 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 shows out they're a lot of fun you get some real interesting neat information and history of the past of the hobby and it's a lot of fun and these are really neat people in our in our hobby and you might watch a watch a show and then go to a, a, a model show and you see the person I had on as a guest and go hey I saw you on the Lucas e. Un podcast <laughs> and then you'll want to meet them and find out what a cool person they are that is something that i am going to be probably concentrating a lot more on not going to be stopping the content that i do but um that comes here in a moment what what's going to be happening but if there's anything that i'm going to put a lot of energy into it's going to be that and like my show with bg the model car guys i enjoy doing stuff like that i'm actually thinking about doing other ones with other other youtubers model car youtubers and i really like that kind of stuff it doesn't get as many views but that's that's not not really uh, whatever i don't it doesn't matter to me um 
views uh you know the the, the channel i'm not I, i'm slowly growing it's always been at a really good pace i'm not one of the bigger model car youtubers i was one of the bigger ones at one time a lot of people have surpassed me that's fine it's not a race they're all friends of mine and i'm proud of them and i i support them 110 thousand percent it's all really great stuff they put out great content all helps the hobby um i'm not leaving i'm going to be doing this i i definitely not in it for the money the, the ad revenue is very small uh so it doing these youtube videos it's a lot a lot of work very very time consuming especially the way i like to do them with a lot of editing and adding in information you know extra b-roll they call it and pictures and all that stuff that takes a lot of time in editing and i that's how i want my videos to be i enjoy it so i take immense amount of time in putting them together and over the past year you've noticed i've been able to really crank out a lot even though it takes me a long time well the reason why is um i don't bring my personal life at all onto youtube i've never talked about this on the channel so now you're going to learn something some of you may know if you've met me in person you know i have been living with a very debilitating bone disease in my hips since the late 90s and uh i could work around it but i've slowly degraded over the years and even the past four years it's gotten so bad that i couldn't work anymore in the the jobs i did i literally had to stop working and uh, I exhausted my savings, my credit, trying to get the, the business going. I was hoping that I could make money with the resin casting a lot sooner than, than what ended up happening. And, you know, life, life just does it. Ad revenue, I, you know, there was a time you could do pretty good on YouTube. They have cut ad revenue so much in YouTube. Us YouTubers, we don't, it's getting less and less and less that of a percentage that youtube gives us so there's really not a lot of money in it um and i was getting the point that i had to put out videos i was getting reliant on the little piddlins that i got from youtube i have a small crew of what i call my producers patreon these guys so many of them have been with me for years their money coming in helps so much keeping the channel going and their input they all put such great input into the channel and many of them have become actual personal friends I've met them in person these these people are great great supporters I've, i um like i said some of you have been with me for a long time and uh i i super super appreciate them that's why you get that scroll at the end of every video because i really appreciate those people my biggest biggest supporters i'm not looking for any sympathy about about my ailments but that that's been my life for a while it took a lot out of me and has you know it's made it difficult it's made it difficult in life and um i owe a lot to my family uh, that's why we ended up buying a house together is i could help them and they could help me i needed their help and they have been there for me i wouldn't be able to have what i have if it wasn't for my my daughter and my son-in-law and the little guy because he keeps me in line um and other other people but uh um that that's how how it rolls for us here and yes this youtube was extremely important for me to get get content out there trying to gather as much ad revenue as i could i was trying to make money off of the resin casting the resin i'm not going to say it failed because the resin casting not going anywhere we're coming back and we're going to be coming back hard but i ran out of keeping it going because of finances i couldn't put the money into what i was getting out of it and i was having to spend every dime i got out of it instead of putting money back into the business which is number one bad bad thing to do when you're when you're starting a small business don't spend the money that you make and i had to so it caught up to me and shut me down long with the weather and i had a lot of equipment failures and different things i had to put a lot more money into that business than i thought and i did that one video a while back that um you know for that that truck um part that that f f8 truck fenders and i showed you the mold and and what can happen and 
that that was a devastating blow to me because that ended up that whole mold which was hundreds of dollars worth of money um into the material and the time and that whole mold is useless it's it's unusable and uh, that was a bummer and that that happens it's part of the business but i couldn't i couldn't take that hit and that was the be- real beginning of the downslope of Lucasy products so we're regrouping we're going to be coming back probably in about a month and we'll be able to do it a lot better and have the product out and a lot of new cool product for you guys and that is a big reason why i keep this youtube channel going is to get people to know about my product it's that's that's really what i wanted to concentrate on the youtube channel and not worrying about trying to make ad revenue i didn't care about that I, it was the resin casting that i would make a living off of and it it uh, it got very difficult <laughs> so with that being said um i had to figure out i had to go back to work somehow but there's no jobs out there for me uh what i've done all my life it's something i have to be on my feet i have to be able to lift things i have to be able to do things i have to be active and over the past two years three years it got worse and worse and worse and that ability got taken away from me and that's why i don't even go to shows really it's it's not enjoyable i'm in extreme amounts of pain i can't really do the walking the standing i have lots of problems with that people that know me personally they they see me they know i and a lot of them might even not realize this they're hearing this for the first time but they always known that there's something wrong with me definitely something wrong with me i'm talking you know how i walk and and, you know it's 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 tough i gotta sit down all the time i really can't stand and do things so the options for jobs out there for me i haven't been able to find any so uh, i have been away from probably getting close to a year now it is about yeah it was about a year ago when i left the job and i was only working one day a week anyways it it didn't really matter i left my circle k job because i just couldn't physically do it anymore um and that was a gigantic blow and i didn't have my health insurance anymore so it has been an extremely extremely tough year for me and i'm telling you this because i'm not looking for sympathy Believe me, I wouldn't. I never ever brought this up. I'm telling you this because today, this very day, is an extreme turning point for the good, for the best. Something really great happened to me. A very good buddy of mine. At this point, I'm not going to tell you who it is. He's probably yelling at me. He probably wants me to. He might not want me to. I don't know. He knows, and he knows I'm grateful for this. Um, and you guys know him. But I got the opportunity to get into a job, a field that is, I honestly, well, today is going to be my first day going to work. It was tough getting the job. And when I finally got the word, I I wanted to tell you people about this. I won't tell you about the job, but I'll just say that it is the job. I say it's a dream job for me. It is the job that I was really hoping, oh, I wish something like this would fall in my lap, but there's no way it will. This job not only totally works around my ailment and what I'm doing is basically sitting at a workbench like building a model all day. That's all I do. I don't have to worry about the deficiency in my my hips. Um, I'll be comfortable. It's a great work environment. The biggest thing is it's an amazing, amazing job that, well, I got to say that I feel like I won the lottery. It's that good. It's the best pay I've ever gotten, the best opportunity I've ever gotten in any job ever. And what this is going to do for me is it's not only going to help me repair my life because financially my life over the past year destroyed, 100% flat broke. I haven't been able to buy model kits. That's why you don't see, hey, new stash, you know. But you know what? (laughs) I'll still... When I get the money up, I'll buy this over other stuff that I, I don't cheapen out when it comes to building my models, and that could that was a problem. So I'm like really happy now. Like, you want to hear a personal hell I was in that collection that Andy got this summer? Do you know I didn't buy a kit out of there? Not a kit. I couldn't. I had no money. Andy threw me some seed because I helped him out. That guy hooks me up. 
I got things. I, I got things from that collection because Andy, Andy knows. Andy's, Andy's, man, if there was somebody while I was going through that, I'm getting texts from that guy every day. So, did you hear anything? Did you hear anything? Did you hear anything? And BG, all my friends here, they were all, man, I kept hearing from everybody. They were all rooting for me to get this. They knew how important it was. And, um, yeah, uh, this is a this is a very happy day for Lucas C. Well, not Lucas. Well, it helps Lucas C., but Matt Conti right here. Super good thing that happened to me. Um, and it is going to reflect on this channel and Lucas C. products because... I ain't going anywhere. I'm going to be still doing this. My content might slow down. I might only do a couple videos a week. I'm going to do what I want to do. I really want to do a lot of un-podcasts, un but I'll still do everything that I always do. Nothing's going to change. You guys are going to get the contact that you're used to from this channel. You just might not get as much. Sometimes you might get more. Who knows? I don't see how it runs, but um, I'm not going to have the time, obviously. To, to do the YouTubing and keep my model building going and I'm going to be really wanting to concentrate on getting that resin casting going because now I'm going to have the money to finance my resin casting business and I do want to grow that because that's my retirement that's what I I mean I'm not planning on this job I'm planning on staying there for a while but eventually you know I'm 57 years old I <laughs> you know how much more time do I have there's things I want to do, and I want to be able to start going to shows. Another thing I'm going to do is this job gives me really good health insurance. And old Lucas C., Matt Conti, who has this hip problem, and I'll tell you what it is. I, I got a bone disease called the vascular necrosis. Look it up, and you'll find out what I went through and what I've been going through, and I've never been able to get proper care and uh, a hip replacement so that is what i'm going to be working towards over these next year or two i would like to get my hips replaced and then i can become a human again and then i can go to the model shows and i can walk around and talk with you guys and meet everybody and, and also be able to afford start going to shows that i've been wanting to go to like acme like nnl east like the damn show, that damn show up there. <laughs> I've been wanting to go to that. They keep saying, Luke, you got to come here. Oh, I'm going to, guys. I couldn't even go, you know, the way things were going. I missed on the Vegas show this year, and I don't want to miss on those things anymore. And a big part of it is it's, I, I'm not enjoying myself when I go to shows anymore because it's just extreme amount of pains. I just, I can only do is, is sit there, and walking is a real issue for me. So, and also affording doing it. That's all going to change because I start my job today that is really awesome. I tell you what it is, but I'd have to kill you. Sorry, but um, it is super, super, super like never thought I'd ever be able to land anything like that. And that guy over in that spot, he knows who he is. You might know who he is. He's the one who got me the job. Good friend. Thank you very much. Chuck, there I said it. Um, extremely grateful for this. I'm excited about starting here. Going to be going in in a few hours. Can't wait. I want to thank you all for listening. But I just want you to know, there's going to be changes in the channel. Not bad. Channel is going to keep on going. Lucasy Products is going to be coming back stronger, and I'm going to be a lot better. And you're going to start seeing me at the shows much better chance of that now because i'm gonna be able to afford a plane ticket i want to go to my buddy dennis's show in roanoke a lot of old friends there i want to see and i want to start going back east a lot more so uh yeah this is a this is super cool super life-changing for me so wish me luck i'm gonna be going off to work here in a couple hours and i'll let you know in the next video of how cool it was <laughs> how about that so thank you all for watching thanks for you thank you all for supporting uh, my patrons you guys are the most awesomest again and it's it's people like that that make me know i'm doing the right thing that that it makes it all worth it, it makes all the hard work and uh i can't say it's thankless hard work because i get so many thanks and it makes it worth it. it makes me enjoy it even more and I'm glad to be able to do this for you all, and I want to thank you all. 
So we're going to have plenty of really cool content. Uh, keep on working on the Porsche. Put another coat on it. And actually the paint is starting to look a lot better. Not having the uh, the red split from the the edges now. I'm really stoked out about this. Look at that bright white. But bright white. Bright red. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, model cars are fun. And that's why we build them. Right? Right? Because they're fun? Oh, okay. Well, here's my best friends.